Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to learn about Rain Sensor FC37 or YL83. A rain sensor module is a device used to detect rain or water presence and trigger certain actions or alarms accordingly. The working of the rain sensor is pretty straightforward. The sensing pad with series of exposed copper traces together act as a variable resistor, just like potentiometer, whose resistance varies according to the amount of water on its surface. This resistance is inversely proportional to the amount of water. The more water on the surface means better conductivity and will result in a lower resistance. The less water on the surface means poor conductivity and will result in a higher resistance. The sensor produces an output voltage according to the resistance, which by measuring we can determine whether it's raining or not. Now let us have a look at the components of the rain sensor. A typical rain sensor has two components. The sensor contains a sensing pad with series of exposed copper traces that is placed out in the open, possibly over the roof or where it can be affected by rainfall. Usually these traces are not connected but are bridged by water. The sensor also contains an electronic module that gives the output or connects the sensing pad to the Arduino. The module produces an output voltage according to the resistance of the sensing pad and is made available at an analog output pin. The output voltage in the analog output pin is proportional to the resistance of the sensing pad. The same signal is fed to a LM393 high precision comparator to digitize it and is made available at a digital output pin. When it detects the rain, the output is low and when it's dry, the output is high. The module has a built-in potentiometer for sensitivity adjustment of the digital output. You can set a threshold by using the potentiometer so that when the amount of water exceeds the threshold value, the module will output low otherwise high. Rotate the knob clockwise to increase the sensitivity and counterclockwise to decrease the sensitivity. Apart from this, the module has two LEDs. One is the power LED that will light up when the module is powered and another is the digital out LED or status LED. It will light up when the digital output goes low. Now the pin out of the module. If we look from the bottom, the first pin is the analog output pin which gives us an analog signal between the supply value 5 volt to 0 volt. Then the DO pin or the digital out pin it gives a digital output of internal comparator circuit. You can connect it to any digital pin on an Arduino or directly to a 5 volt relay or similar device. Then the GND or ground pin for the negative power supply and then the VCC pin it is for the positive power supply to the sensor. It is recommended to power the sensor with between 3.3 volt to 5 volt. Please note that the analog output will vary depending on what voltage is provided to the sensor. And at the left side, there are two pins. These two pins are for connecting to the sensing pad. Although there is a positive marking and negative marking to these pins, it is not polarity dependent. You can connect any pin of the sensor to the sensing pad. Now let us have a look at some applications of the rain sensor. Automatic windshield wipers. Rain sensor detect raindrops on the windshield and activate the wipers accordingly, adjusting the wiper speed based on the intensity of the rain sunroof and window closure in some vehicles rain sensors can trigger the automatic closing of sunroofs or windows to prevent rain from entering the vehicle smart irrigation controller rain sensors are used in agricultural and residential irrigation system to detect rainfall and prevent unnecessary watering conserving water and preventing overwatering of the plants skylight and window control Rain sensors can automatically close skylights and windows in buildings when rain is detected, protecting the interior from water damage. Equipment protection. In outdoor industrial setting, rain sensors can be used to protect sensitive equipments by triggering covers or shelters to deploy when rain is detected. These are some applications. There are other applications also. We are not going into much detail about that. Now let us have a look at the circuit diagram or how to interface the rain sensor with an Arduino. 
first we will supply power to the sensor for that we can simply connect it with the 5 volt pin of the arduino but in our circuit we have not connected it with directly with the 5 volt pin we have connected it with digital io pin 5 it is because one commonly known issue with these sensors is their short lifespan when exposed to a moist environment having power applied to the sensing pad constantly speeds the rate of corrosion significantly to overcome this i have connected to power the sensor from digital io pin 5 so that we will power it only when it is needed to read the value from the sensor the total power drawn by a rain sensor is about 8 milliampere so we can easily power it from a digital io pin of the arduino so now we have connected the VCC pin of the module to the Arduino's digital I.O. pin 5 and then the ground pin to the ground pin of the Arduino, the digital out pin to digital I.O. pin 3 of the Arduino and the analog out pin to the analog input pin 0 of the Arduino. We have also connected one LED from the digital I.O. pin 13 via a resistor and connected the cathode pin of the LED to the ground pin of the Arduino and we have also connected a buzzer where the positive pin of the buzzer is connected with digital I.O. pin 4 of the Arduino and the negative to the ground of the Arduino. Now we will look at the Arduino sketch and then we will see the practical demonstration. We will show the application in two different programs. One is by the digital output and another is by the analog output. So let us first look at the sketch where we have used the digital output of the range sensor. This is our Arduino sketch for the practical demonstration using the digital output of the range sensor. The sketch is very simple. We have commented every section of the sketch so that you can easily understand the sketch and at the last we have created a function this will turn on the sensor and send the reading back to the arduino and after sending the output it will turn off the module here we have called that function and then we have turned on the led accordingly when the rain is detected when there is no rain we have turned off the led and when there is rain detected we have turned on the led also the buzzer so the program is also very simple now we will upload the sketch into the Arduino and then we will see the practical demonstration. So here we are uploading the sketch into the Arduino and while this sketch uploads, let us move to the practical demonstration. This is the prototype of the circuit that we have already shown to you. This is the sensor module of the range sensor and this is the sensing pad. Let me zoom a little so that you can see it clearly. This is the main sensor and this is the sensing pad. You can see the power LED is blinking at one second interval. It is because we have programmed it in that way. It reads the value of the sensor after one second's interval just to prevent this sensing pad from corrosion. We have already discussed it in the theory section. So not discussing it much here. Let's bring the entire prototype in view. So here we have connected the sensing pad with the sensor. The sensor is connected with the Arduino and we have connected one LED from pin number 13 and one buzzer from digital pin number 4. The analog out has been connected with the A0 pin and the digital out has been connected with digital pin 3 of the Arduino. Now we will see what happens when a drop of water falls in the sensing pad. We have water here in this syringe. So we are just pushing the syringe. You see a little amount of water has fallen and the output LED is glowing and also the buzzer is making sound. But if we wipe the water, the output stopped and the buzzer sound also stopped. This was the digital out of the sensor. Now we will see the analog output of the module. For that we are making the screen half and half. See when there is no water detected, the sensor output is 900 but when a little drop of water will be here the output will decrease some more water the output will decrease more some more water the output will decrease more and at the threshold where the potentiometer is set the digital output has also turned on so the more water we add, the resistance will start decreasing the more. If we add one more drop of water, 
the resistance will decrease accordingly. So this is our first demonstration using the digital output and analog output where we can set the digital output threshold here with a potentiometer and we can turn on the buzzer and LED using the digital output of the sensor module. Now I am wiping it out. So the buzzer and the LED stopped. So this is our first demonstration of the raindrop sensor. Now we will show another demonstration using the analog out. We will not use the digital out in this case. So let us first have a look at the Arduino sketch and then we will come to the demonstration. This is our second Arduino sketch where we will be seeing the analog output of the rain sensor and by using the analog output we will use the threshold of the analog value so that we can adjust the sensitivity of the module in the program itself. Here we have set the threshold value to 500 which is about 50% of the sensor's output. So when the analog value reaches below this 500 the Arduino will give the output that it's wet and the LED pin will be high and the buzzer pin will be high. And if the value is above 500 the Arduino serial monitor will show it is dry and the LED will be turned off and the buzzer will also be turned off. Here also we have used the same function to read the analog value after one second delay just to save the corrosion of the sensing pad. This sketch is also well commented so you can easily understand that. Now we are uploading this sketch into the Arduino and we will see the practical demonstration. So here we upload the sketch and while the sketch uploads let's move on to the practical demonstration. For this demonstration also it is the same prototype we are using but here we will use the analog output only. So I am removing the digital pin from here. I am disconnecting the digital output from the module. We will use only the analog output for this demonstration. Since our output will be shown in the serial monitor also, we are splitting the screen half and half so that we can see the status of the output in this LED as well as on the screen here. It's now showing it is dry. The sensing pad has no water so it's dry. Now I'll add a drop of water onto this. You see, as soon as I dropped water onto this, the analog value moved below 500 and we have set the threshold value here to 500. Since it is below 500, it's showing its weight and the output LED turned on and the buzzer is also making sound. But if we wipe out the water, the value will again rise to approx 1000 and it's showing it is dry. But see one thing. If we add a little amount of water, just a little amount of water, the pins are connected. You see the analog value now is 785 but it's not below 500. That's why the Arduino has not started the output LED or not making any sound in the buzzer. If we add some little more water into this, you see I added one drop more but still the value is not below 500 so there is no output into the sensor but if I add one more drop here till now it's not below 500 so I have to add one more drop now it is below 500 so the Arduino has started the LED output and as well as the buzzer if I wipe out the water the sensing pad is dry now and here is no output. Here it's again approximately 1000 and showing it's dry. So in this way we can use the rain sensor to detect rain either using the digital output or using the analog output. The only thing I would suggest when you are using a rain sensor to give the power supply from an IO pin of the Arduino not directly connected to the VCC pin just to save the sensing pad from corrosion. So today up to this I hope you do not have any question or confusion about how to use the rain sensor with Arduino but still if you have any question or any suggestion please write it in the comments and if you like today's video hit the like button and share it. Also do not forget to subscribe my channel RG Innovations your subscription give me more encouragement to bring new videos. Here I conclude today we will meet again in a new video till then bye bye take care have a nice time and thank you for watching.